Can we monetize the video with AI images? This is the question that a lot of you guys are having, right? Well, today I'm gonna tell you the whole truth behind it. The answer is yes and no. What the hell? What does that even mean? Let me explain. If you use steady AI images like a simple slideshow, you can't get monetized because it falls under low value content. But if you can manage to make a unique and creative video with several images, effects, and sound effects, you can actually monetize those videos. It's all about the quality. If you look at the difference between these two videos, you will probably see that the first one is not of good quality. So the next question is, how can we make monetizable AI videos? Well, that's what I'm gonna teach you today. In this video, I will show you how to make monetizable AI videos similar to this channel, but not boring slideshows like these. This niche is called the Zen Stories niche. It's all about providing a good message to society with an amazing story. Let me show you a sample video I created for this. There was once a young man named Leo who lived in a small village nestled in the hills. Leo was known throughout the village for his intelligence and skills. He could fix anything that was broken, whether it was a leaky roof or a faulty watch, and people often came to him for help. But despite his talents, Leo had a habit of looking down on others. He believed that his abilities made him better than the people around him. He was quick to point out their flaws, and he often dismissed their opinions, thinking that only his ideas mattered. One day, a wise old traveler passed through. Let me show you how to create videos like this. The first thing we must do is, we must create a good story to provide a valuable message to society. I mean, we can't create our own story for this because we are not story writers. Therefore, we need to get all the help from AI. So let's go to ChatGPT and ask it to create a story for us. I have created this specific prompt for this. As you can see here, I have asked it to generate a unique story about this message, which is, if you treat people better with respect, that will make you a better human. I will leave this prompt in the comment section. So let's generate this. So our script is generating. Once it's completed, make sure to read it carefully and check whether it's interesting enough. If you want, you can make some changes as well. It's up to you. For the next part of the video, I'm going to use an automation AI tool to create a fully monetizable video for this script. The name of this AI tool is Smart Short. This is by far the best video generator that you can find. This tool has the most advanced image generating engine and has several styles. Most importantly, it's cost friendly. Normally you need at least three paid tools to create a video like this. For example, Eleven Labs for voice creation, Leonardo or Midjourney for image and video generation, and video editing software to make the final edit. But with Smart Short, you can do all these things. So let's start the process. After you sign up, click this dashboard option, and then you will come to this page. Click this new project option. Here is all the magic happens. The first thing you need to do is select the size of the video. This is going to be a long story. Therefore, make sure to select the 16 to nine ratio from this. Then you can either type a prompt to generate a video script here, or you can just copy the script we generated earlier. This time, I'm gonna copy the script we generated then click Next. Now, you need to select a suitable AI voice to narrate this story. Check all these voices and select a good one for your niche. The next step is the most important step, so make sure to watch this part carefully and it's very easy. As you can see here, there are different types of image styles such as cinematic, realistic, anime style, and more. Now, you need to decide what type of images you need in your video. If you are going to make anime style videos, select that one. If want to make realistic images, select that one. In this case, this is a story, so we need to generate images that can fit each scenario. For that, this infinity style is the best one so far, so I'm gonna select it. As a default setting, it is set to generate a new image for every 2.5 seconds. I'm gonna edit it to two seconds. Then, make sure to tick all these options to improve and animate these images. Most importantly, make sure to enable this 3D motion option. It will automatically add 3D movements to your video. After you edit all these options, click the start button. Within several minutes, your video will be generated. Okay, let's see the video. There was once a young man named Leo who lived in a small village nestled in the hills. Leo was known throughout the village for his intelligence and skills. He could fix anything that was broken. This is really good. As you can see here, these images are not steady. They have 3D motion. Now let's say you want to edit this video a little bit. You can edit the subtitles using this menu. 
change the words, and you can even change the emoji that they have used in your video. If you go to this style, there are more than 20 subtitle styles. If you want, you can change it. Select the suitable style and click it. It will automatically replace all the subtitle styles with this new style. Now let's say you want to do advanced edits like color shadows and text effects go to this edit option and you can do those things as well. Then, if you want to remove or replace certain images from this video, go to this footage. It will show you all the images that this video has used for each scenario. If you click this update option, it will replace that image with a new one. Finally, you can add background music to this video using this music option. Just add a matching background music and your video is done. Then make sure to hit this save option before downloading the video. This process is really simple. Within just several minutes, I have created a monetizable three minute video with a good story. You can watch this whole video at the end. Now, let me show you a strategy that you can go get 1000 subscribers and watch time faster with this niche. We all know that the fastest way to get subscribers is through short form content. But the problem with that is for some niches, you can't post both short and long videos. It will mess up your channel. But for this Zen Stories niche, that's not going to be the problem because this specific audience tends to like both short and long videos. So if you get this first plan, which is $19, you can upload 10 long videos and 10 short videos a month because this plan provides 20 videos. If you do this, you can post 20 times in a month, 10 short videos and 10 long form videos. I'm sure that within just three months, you will be able to get 1000 subscribers. I think you learned some valuable lessons from this video. If you are planning to start a channel in this niche, make sure to drop a comment and mention the name of your channel. I will see you guys in the next video. There was once a young man named Leo who lived in a small village nestled in the hills. Leo was known throughout the village for his intelligence and skills. He could fix anything that was broken, whether it was a leaky roof or a faulty watch, and people often came to him for help. But despite his talents, Leo had a habit of looking down on others. He believed that his abilities made him better than the people around him. He was quick to point out their flaws, and he often dismissed their opinions, thinking that only his ideas mattered. One day, a wise old traveler passed through the village. The traveler had seen many places and met many people in his time, and he had learned a great deal from his experiences. He noticed Leo's prideful attitude and decided to teach him a lesson, though not in a direct way. The traveler approached Leo with a request. I've heard of your skills, the traveler said, and I have something that needs fixing. It's an old, broken compass that belonged to my father. It hasn't worked in years, but it holds great sentimental value to me. Could you help me? Leo, eager to show off his expertise, agreed without hesitation. He took the compass apart, examining each piece carefully. Hours passed as he tinkered with it, but no matter what he tried, the compass wouldn't work. Frustrated, Leo threw down his tools and declared that it was beyond repair. Sometimes, things are just too broken to fix, he said, turning back to the traveler. The old man smiled and shook his head. Perhaps, but sometimes, it's not the object that needs fixing, but the way we approach it. Confused by the traveler's words, Leo handed the compass back to him. The traveler thanked him kindly and began to walk away, leaving Leo to ponder what he had meant. In the days that followed, Leo found himself thinking more and more about the traveler's words. He realized that the compass might have been a metaphor for something deeper. He began to pay more attention to the way he treated others, noticing how his harsh words and dismissive attitude had affected them. He saw that while he was skilled in fixing things, he had been neglecting something far more important, his relationships with the people around him. One day, as Leo was sitting by the village well, a young girl approached him with a broken doll. Her eyes were wide with hope as she handed it to him. Can you fix it? She asked. Leo looked at the doll, then at the girl. He could see how much it meant to her, not because of its value, but because it was a gift from her mother. He took the doll carefully in his hands, but this time, instead of rushing to prove his skill, he asked the girl about her mother and listened as she told him stories. As they talked, he gently sewed the doll back together, taking extra care to make sure it was done right. When he finished, he handed the doll back to her with a smile. The girl's face lit up with joy, and she hugged the doll tightly. Thank you, Leo, she exclaimed. You're the best. For the first time, Leo felt a warmth in his heart that had nothing to do with pride pride or accomplishment. He realized that in treating the girl with kindness and respect, he had found a deeper satisfaction than any of his previous successes had ever brought him. From that day on, Leo made a conscious effort to treat everyone he met with the same kindness and respect he had shown the girl. He listened more, judged less, and found that the more he treated others with respect, the more they respected him in return. He became known not just for his skills, but for his generosity and compassion. Years later, when the traveler returned to the village, he found Leo a changed man. The 
village was thriving, and the people spoke highly of Leo, not just for his abilities, but for the way he made them feel valued and heard. The traveler handed Leo the same compass, and without a word, Leo took it in his hands. 